Police in Cedar Rapids investigating two armed home invasions. These break-ins happened in the same neighborhood over the past two weeks. Brian Scott is here in the studio now with the latest. Brian? Well, yeah, Jack, folks in the Taylor neighborhood are now dealing with two home invasions, both within about a block of one another. While we don't know if the latest one is connected to the other, we do know that like the first, it turned violent. No, I just uh, hope it stops. John Kramer just found out about the violence that happened across the street Thursday night, but he says he's not surprised. Uh, it's something I expected eventually with the economy the way it is. His neighbor was alone in her living room when three men in black and red hoodies and black hockey masks came in the unlocked back door. They all three had guns. The men knocked the victim to the floor and one held her there for five minutes while the other stole several things from her home, including her purse and cell phone. Her boyfriend tells us several windows were also damaged. It's deja vu for the Taylor neighborhood. Just last Wednesday, this home a street over was also broken into violently. In that case, a woman was sexually assaulted and a man injured by five intruders who stole thousands of dollars worth of property. While both cases are eerily similar, there is one glaring difference. The incident from last week involved black males. This one involved white males. So they, you know, they might run in the same circle, but no, they're not the same individuals. Still, police are urging everyone to be cautious. Kramer says he always is and is always trying to watch out for his neighbors as well. I'm just keeping the doors locked. And I'm not a small guy either. <laughs> the police also warn folks not to reveal too much to others about the stuff that you own. They say often in these invasions, the people are looking for something specific that they've already heard the person has inside of their home. In the studio, Brian Scott, CBS 2 News. Brian, thanks.